We're going to shred a live volcano. No, really, a live volcano. It's gonna be my new thing. I only ride volcanoes. So we're toast if this goes, right? You can't really like outrun it. It was definitely a sight there though. I mean, the volcano was just fully going, just steaming and uh, it, you could smell the sulfur. I just remember cruising through the woods and, and everybody had already kind of laid the boot track up to the top of the hill and um, I was following everybody and the trees were like overhanging into this crazy like tunnel. And it was just like the trees and the snow and this crazy light shining through. And I just kind of stopped for like a good, I think it was a good 10 minutes because I was just looking around like, this is a trip. Like, where are we? Like, this is a, this is a really heavy place. Um, I wonder how many people actually get to see the things that, you know, I've seen. And you really wonder who gets to see stuff like this, you know, who's fortunate enough to like come to Japan all the way up to the remote mountain like that and just walk through the woods. And sure enough, like, I come out of this like weird snow cave and then there's then there's this fox that cruises up, this bright red fox. I mean, I was I was 12 the first time I came to Japan. To do these things at like that that young kind of age, it's definitely um, it's definitely kind of like opened my eyes to a lot of things where once you've traveled a ton and seen a lot of things, you get like a different kind of respect for, for certain cultures and all that. And I don't know, I don't think I would go back and do things differently. You know what I mean? I think things are pretty awesome right now.